Have you ever wanted to walk around a desert island? Wandering around an abandoned city? Then join us on the island of Carpathos, where we follow an ancient hiking trail through abandoned bays and towns to walk to the uninhabited island of Soria. And we learn which town and port were located here in ancient times. Our walk starts at the northernmost inhabited town on Carpathos, Avlona. In 2011, only six people lived here. From here starts an 8.4 kilometer long walking route to the old port town of Tristomo. You wouldn't expect it, but this part of Carpathos is the most fertile and everywhere you come across stone terraces that farmers have built to cultivate as much fertile mountain soil as possible. As you travel further north, you regularly encounter goats, sheep and donkeys. Some belong to a farmer who comes here sometimes, but here in the solitude you really notice more wild animals around you. We get higher and higher in the mountains that rise to about 600 meters above sea level until we finally cross the ridge and start descending. Try to imagine that even just 50 years ago, this was the main and only road to transport goods or food from Avlona or from the countryside to Tristomo. But before we get there, we find the abandoned city of Kilios in front of us in a beautiful landscape. Let's explore the grounds. We can walk around freely because it doesn't look like anyone is home. Kilios is an abandoned farm village dating back to the Middle Ages. The village was once located in the most fertile valley of the island and was also called the Granary of Carpathos. As more and more people left the island in search of work in the cities since the 1970s, the remote town quickly lost its inhabitants. What is special about Kilios is that you can still find the traditional Carpathian architectural style here. The roof is held up by a wooden beam, the Messar. The roof itself consisted of straw and seaweed, topped with clay and finely gravel, so that the roof was waterproof. The Messar is held up by a wooden stylus, which normally is richly illustrated as it symbolizes the carrying of the family. Often a house was divided into two parts, where the floor of the entrance is called the parso. Fresh water was very scarce here, so all rainwater was collected on the roof and collected back in the house through a gutter. We leave Kilios via the north side to continue our way. You only feel the loneliness if you walk around here yourself. After almost three hours of walking, the reward is there, the ancient natural port city of Tristomo, which is located in a beautiful bay. The name Tristomo means triple mouth in Greek and comes from the three streams of water that enter the bay through the two islands in the middle of the bay. Although a few shepherds still live here, the dirt shows that despite its beautiful location, the town is a faded glory. After a short walk, 
we say goodbye to the only resident and travel further to the tip of the island. We can already see Saria in the distance, according to the geographer Strabo. The classical city of Nisiros was located here in ancient times. In the beautiful looking bay, some rocks have been left out, which shows that there was once a harbour there. Today the island is accessible by boat for those who wish, and there is a path up the 600 metre high hill. There you will find remains of a village, but archaeologists think these are the remains of a Saracen settlement. Remains of a Minoan civilization have even been found on the island. We can enjoy the view here from the shelter of the Aegea, a Cotterini church. There once probably stood a Porthimu Poseidon temple on that spot to protect the residents of Saria from the sea. The mysterious island undoubtedly hides a few secrets that we will hopefully find out one day. But for now it's time for a well-deserved break. Thanks for watching and see you again in one of our next videos.